There's a joint that is a hymen right there installed before the big test on gravel with weight inside the tag along trailer towed by the Squatch rocket and this this disco fancy hitch that I put on. Which pin do I use to lock it up? Do I use the Sondra lock? The David Lynch creepy or the welcome back Kata. Yes, Mr. Kata. Hey Kata. Up your nose with your rubber hose. Welcome to Off-Grid and Whiskey, you awesome squatchers. Now, some of you observant homo sapiens notice this spare tire. There's not enough clearance, Clarence. That's got to come off. So I'm going to do that first. And then uh, we'll re reposition it. Uh, just like Ted Kennedy. When he was against offshore drilling. And then a congressman had photos of him waist deep in the ocean with this scantily clad girl, young girl, and he changed his position on offshore drilling. Yeah. yeah, check it out. Ooh, I need my promotion pads. Oh, my knees. Brand new 33 inch buckshot mutters with galvanized rims. Look at that, pathetic. We need clearance, Clarence. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great if we could just change our spare tires by just lifting the car up on edge and pulling the tire right off? <laughs> All right, here's the unknown. This tire is a 12, the other one's at eight. Both, they're both 4.8 wide. So is my disco fancy fender gonna get in the way? We have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? Oh, are you raw dogging me? We got a roulette wheel. Yes. Uh, always bet on black. Thank you, Wesley Snipes. bet on black. I didn't think those tires and wheels would fit. Look at that. It looks like a 1971 Hemi Cuda on the rear end. Yeah. Now the question is the approach angle. You know, my tongue is down further, right? Instead of licking it up. Lick it up. I'm going to go with the welcome back kata pin first. That made a big difference. Those tires and wheels, it's really jacked up there. There is a good, I should measure that. How much clearance? <laughs> nine and a half inches. <laughs> Just like nine and a half weeks with Mickey Rourke and Kim Basinger. You can leave your hat on. Yeah. I've never loved nine and a half inches so much in my life, but that right there at the axle rose, that's awesome. Great stance. Oh, and by the way, you awesome squatchers, we, there's no name for this trailer. Squatch Rocket, the TW200. What's the name of the trailer? You come up with it. Whoever wins gets a ham sandwich. <laughs> Before the big maiden voyage, I was told by an awesome squatcher, Shane Z. He's prophylactic on the channel commenting. You need truck nuts on this hitch. <laughs> I'm like, I don't have truck nuts. And then I, I looked at my old bicycle. And I have a pair of, show me your nuts, right here. Show me your nuts. Oh, oh, oh. oh how you doing? Learn from you, When I first got them riding my bike, which I don't do anymore because guys who ride bikes, men in tights, it's not a good scene. Uh, you hit the button here and they would turn blue. So they're actually blue balls. <laughs> yes, I like it. As much as I love the truck nuts dangling off the uh, Squatch Rocket hitch, I think the Coupe de Gracie, the last and final touch, is a chrome will get you home naked lady girl. <laughs> yeah, right there. I don't have time to install it right now. I want to go on this ride. So stay tuned for the ride. Yeah, the hymen ride. <laughs> Somebody commented, a female, Julie. Hey, do you really know what a hymen means? <laughs> I don't know. 